everyone likes to look good and everyone loves to feel good that's why they say looking good is good business and that's why on brands and fashion we keep you up to date with the latest fashion tips fashion trends and of course the business of fashion i am margaret opera your host and on the show today as always we have various interesting educative and informative segments for you on the show today firstly the trends table where we bring you up to speed with the latest trends in the fashion world and then the brand's highlight segments on the segment we have our chats with a professional from the fashion world and also the glitch segments on the glitch segment we will be doing a critical analysis of different folks in different outfits from a professional point of view We'll take a short break now. Brands and Fashion will be back after the break. Like I said earlier on Brands and Fashion today, we have loads of interesting, educative and informative segments to keep you glued to your TV set because you do not want to miss any of our interesting segments today. Now on the show today, we have Unwoku Lekide Chianya. She is a uh, an entrepreneur who's into the business of crochet. Mbokwe, thank you so much for joining us. Legide Chenya. I actually do love your name because of what it means. It means um, let's keep looking at God or let's keep paraphrasing, let's fix our gaze on God, right? Beautiful name. How are you? I'm very well. And now that's the beautiful lady we have on the show today. Up next is the trend segment. Cutouts are not latest news. They came as a shock a few seasons ago, but they are proving to be far more of a long-term look than any of us initially gave them credit for, which is definitely a good thing when it comes to considering customer wear and environmental friendliness, because the more frequently you are happy to wear an item, the better. Cutout is the glamorous penetrating party-oriented trend. Think bare shoulders and back with a cut that pops out the waist, the collarbone or even the lower belly. Dare to try. The styling possibilities are endless and our favorite influencers have left us with some major style inspiration. We propose you approach this trend in a simple and less is more mindset. So on this segment of trends, we'll be looking at cutouts. And interestingly, you are wearing something that has cutouts. You know, um, fashion is something that evolves. It goes and comes back, comes back the rebranded, it goes again and it comes back again in a different style, different, you know, look and feel. Now looking at cutouts, a lot of times we see pictures of celebrities and average people, normal people. Well, let's say normal people, everyone is normal. <laughs> But then non-celebrities, I think yeah. that's what I meant, um, go for event, and then you are seeing slit everywhere, seeing cut out. People tend to, it looks good on some people, in, it doesn't look good on some other person. So let me get your thoughts on it. Okay, personally, I feel like cut out are really nice, being that they always spice up whatever it is you are wearing, like this top for example. Mm. If it was just, if it didn't have the cut out, it would be like a regular top, it would be just basic. Yeah. yeah. But then the thing to cut out is that it has to be done in moderation. That's my personal opinion anyways. It, like for example, slits now. We have some slits that are so, when you see some dresses, they are really pretty. They have slits starting mm. from like here and that's okay by yeah. me. But then now like you go to weddings, you go to different places and then you see some slits and you're wondering like what's really going on? Is this the dress? Mm -hmm. Is there more to eat? Or maybe you're supposed to go back. Mm. I don't really get it. And then now too so we have some trousers like this boyfriend jeans. Mm. And then you see some of them have slits. Mm. Nice. And then some will start from up here, like just right after mm. your underwear. And they're like, why like why do people have to take everything so far? Basically, because if things are done and done normally, I mean, it's be, I feel like cut out are okay. beautiful. Okay, thank you so much for that. Now, let's go straight into the next segment that is the celebrity style inspiration. Popular media personality Derele Edun is famous for one distinct quality, and it is not his job. The TV host has an unusual fashion sense which he rocks with pride and despite the frequent backlash and controversial statements, Derry Lee's style has come to stay. 
Over the years, the media personality has cemented his place as a king of eccentric fashion with his heels, effeminate dressing and weird themes. The 40-year-old fashionista is known for experimenting with fashion items on his looks and even his most outrageous ensembles have hidden details that the rest of us can wear and feel. Now, our celebrity star inspiration today is someone I really do love a lot. I do actually do love the really and I'm unashamed about it. Not and not that kind of love though but i like his personality i love his person i like how he i, I love i love that he's crazy and he's not apologetic about his craziness so do you like that kind of thing or you like the you know the reserved kind of mm, i think this is more about the celebrity yeah so what i feel about jerry Day is i think he's really bold yes in the sense that way before I know this whole um, dressing like girls, like guys dressing like girls, mm. trans transgender and all those things coming up now. Cross dressing. Cross dressing, exactly. Thank you. This they started coming up. They became more rampant recently. I think that's mm. the word. Yeah. And then you see people that did not even think they would be doing it just doing it because so, because they feel like or because it's rampant or they just want to become popular or something. But they really has been. We all know that they really has been wearing heels like. For the longest time, yeah. since I can remember, like he's he knew what he wanted. That's his own style. He built a, he a built, brand for himself. Exactly. Like he didn't have to wait for someone else to do it. And then he's like, "Oh, I like this." He did it. He just did what he wanted, and he went all mm. out. Another thing about Dewele is the fact that he, if you at first looking at the way he steps out, you would think his his dress doesn't his attire doesn't really match, or you you may feel it's weird. Weird, yeah. But when you look at it closely, you know that there's there's sense in the madness. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, fashion is like art. It's very personal. It's you. You get to express yourself however you want. Just like abstract art, abstract painting. Uh, exactly. You just abstracts. come and you see people that will just come and splash paints and everywhere and tell you ten million naira. And if you ask them the meaning, they have meaning for <laughs> it. Like, they'll tell you that. Oh, this is an expression of love and this, you're yeah, not seeing it but exactly so that's how fashion is too so when you talk of Derele, i feel like he just expresses himself the way he wants to or the way he feels like he yeah the way he wants to basically okay well that is about Derele. now let's go straight into the brand's highlight Now this is the brand's highlight segment of brands and fashion. You know, fashion is diversified. A lot of people coming up with so many things that are really so fashionable. And today we'll be looking at the business of crochet. Mboko Ilekide Chanya is right here with us and she is having an amazing top. It's, it was made by her, by the way. So let's, let me get your thoughts. How did you decide to go into this particular line of fashion? It's not so popular, not so rampant actually. So how did you decide and why did you decide to go into this particular type? Okay, um, right from time I have been crocheting, right from when I was in primary school. I used to make bags, key holders, table covers, and just little, little things. I never actually made a dress or top, like anything to be worn, up until the lockdown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, we were at home, we weren't doing so much. So I just decided to go to YouTube. Some of my friends were like, oh, you, you question now, why can't you just go to YouTube and check? Um, how they do this thing. So I checked YouTube. I saw really nice stuff. In fact, at, at the time, I didn't know that we could do so much with crochet. I thought it was just limited to bags mm -hmm. and hairnets and all those things that we see all the time. So I checked YouTube and I saw so many beautiful things. So I watched the videos, learned, took my time. Here I am. And here you are. Well, so how has it been over the years? Since lockdown was in 2020. So this yeah. is approximately two years and counting. So how has it been for you? Okay, over the years, I haven't really been into the crochet as a form of business. Mm. I was just doing it to pass time. I mean, it's a hobby, something I love to do. So I was just using it to pass time and, you know, all of that. Then, because I was in school, I'm in school. I'm currently, so I'm a student. I study petroleum engineering. Mm -hmm. So we, and, and the ASO has kept you on at home. Exactly. So. Yeah. so now, during the lockdown, we're at home. 
Mm. I picked it up. I started improving on myself and things like that. Then we went to school. I didn't do much because crochet is really time consuming. So I started to just keep it aside and face. I was just taking maybe one or two orders. That's people that already know that I'm into this. Yeah, and they come to me and they only want something. So I just said, I'll just do that and get paid. Then now we're back home and I've been thinking of what to do, how to spend my time, how to make the best out of my time. But okay, why not just continue crochet? So just like, say, four months that I have been seriously mm. into the business. And that's what, for the past four months, what has it been like? Well, it's been really good, I must say. I've had enough time to improve. I've had enough time to make money. Because mm. I mean, that's, that's the goal. Thing, exactly. Yeah. So I've had enough time to make money, improve, be exposed, like here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I, I believe it's been good. Really. So how do you, do you, do you, um, crochet on request or you have some ready to make ready to wear crochet yeah i have ready to wear crochet but i deal mostly with um, custom orders because this has to do with size and then it's it's handmade you can't adjust it. handmade no you can't if for you to adjust it you have to i mean losing and stuff mm. like that so to get the perfect fit style colors because people can be very picky i mean especially when they know they have an option if they walk right into a boutique and they know that oh it's already made they might be like, mm, I don't like this flail, but mm, let's just go with it. But when they know that you are the one making it, they will surely have something to say. And then you, you personally know that you can do something about it. I mean, we want the best for our clients. We don't want them saying the top is fine, but I don't like the sleeve. So we just do deal mostly with custom orders. But I still have like other stuff I mm. make and keep, but not the really big project so that I do not just waste my time okay. and then nobody comes to buy it.